Today on Toysha's Happy Alien Day, LV426 2021, and still, no one can hear you scream. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toysha's here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today we are totally checking out the brand new NECA Toys Alien 40th Anniversary Wave 3, featuring three more characters, the alien, which you have to have in every single wave, Ash, the evil android, and the guy that will always remember it as the guy who looked in the egg, Kane. <laughs> the packaging on this, though, throughout all the waves up to this third one is amazing. I absolutely love it. It's just evocative of Kenner, and that is what NECA Toys does so well, really translating what's come before and turning it on its head, spinning it into something new and just so cool to see. I didn't keep these boxes, but you can if you want. The back shows all the different characters from Waves 1, 2, and 3, a little bit of a bio for the alien, just the artwork in general, the side of the box. It is stellar. So for Alien Day, I thought it would be fun to kind of look at the first three waves of the Alien 40th anniversary. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Wave 3 by NECA Toys. Now, in starting with Wave 1, we see the hero of our story, Ellen Ripley herself, as portrayed by Sigourney Weaver, and she's in her jumpsuit, flight suit, for most of the original Alien movie. How good is Alien? Still to this day, it is, of all the sequels and all the spinoffs and everything else, it is still numero uno. So, so good. She comes with a number of different accessories, including Jonesy the cat and the cat carrier, flamethrower, all the kinds of you know, Nostromo little instruments here and there. This is a great Ripley figure. Now, I will tell you that I think her likeness is a little bit off here and there, but for the most part, having all these characters on your shelf for the Alien movie, it's top notch. Continuing on with the alien itself, or I should say the prototype suit, this was sort of what the alien may have looked like if they hadn't spray painted it black and, and gone that route. And while it's okay, it's interesting, I don't think it would have had the same emotional, frightening impact that the all black alien does. This one, it's fun to kind of have different variations, and NECA does do that really nicely, but it, again, it doesn't evoke a lot of fear. It's almost cartoony in its nature if they would have gone this route, but still a very nice alien figure to have. How does Tom Skerritt keep getting work? Remember that family guy? That's, I love that line. Anyways, yes, Dallas, captain of the Nostromo, sitting pretty in his very pretty looking spacesuit. Now the colors, the paint, the design, everything is translated really nicely from the designs of the Alien film. And it really wasn't until I saw this figure where I'm like, wow, yeah, the, the old spacesuits from the movie are incredibly different, they're very detailed. I don't think it's something you notice right off the bat. Having it in plastic form, yeah, it really translates well, and it's really interesting to look at all around. Comes with weapon storage, little gun on his side, little, again, Nostromo instruments, a spacesuit, helmet, hoses, attachments, everything else. This is a very cool Dallas figure. Shortly thereafter, Wave 1 released, we were treated with Wave 2, starting off with Brett, everyone's lovable, yeah, he's just, just going for a, a spritz. <laughs> the aliens, well, first victim, well, technically second, whatever you want to call it, but he's just the guy that was looking for the cat, good old Jonesy, but man oh man. Did they really translate the actor's likeness, the costume, just the look of Brett is so cool to have in plastic form. Even the back of the jacket, the Stromo right there. That's what the Alien movie did so well. Truckers in space, people hanging out, having a good time, and then they actually had to fight horrible alien monsters. Again, coming with 
doodads and gadgets off the Nostromo. Very well done. Brett is a must-have. Much like his partner in crime, Parker, and just recently passed away. It's very sad. Both of these guys actually are gone now. But again, their likeness lives on in these action figures. Parker comes with, again, various instruments, extra hand. It's so awesome. The translation that NECA is able to achieve from just the costume, the look, the jumpsuit, all the little patches, his blue headband. Yeah, Fett Kato is just rocking in this. It is out of this entire wave. I think that he really gets the likeness nailed. And for that, awesome to have on your shelf. Hey, of course there's another alien, right? Aliens got to be every which way. But in having this one, now I have a dozen or so aliens, probably more than that. This one is splattered in blood and it is so interesting to see it. Not necessarily something from the movie, more so like say recent alien movies, they like to do that. But this is a really cool alien and the colors, the black, the shades, and then just to have blood dripping splattered everywhere. This is definitely a repaint that has more of the value to it, whereas different colors, ways of portraying the alien, but this one's sinister. It's gross. It's grotesque. It's just a lot of fun to have because it's it's disgusting. <laughs> Now, finally, deep diving into Wave 3, we get the lovable android, Ash, played by actor Sir Ian Holm, who, again, recently passed away as well. But it is fantastic to give us this character. This That is one of the most... Me that scene scared the heck out of me when I was a kid. When Parker comes in and, and busts his head off and all, all the spaghetti... <laughs> like the robotic spaghetti sp uh, it just it was awful but uh, yeah I'll always remember that scene and good old Ash and he comes with many different accessories a lot of different again instruments little props and such from the movie couple extra hands and then of course the main one yeah his own severed robotic head you gotta have that one but just in looking at it all the milk goo whatever that he was drinking or whatever he's made out of that's the best part about alien is just not knowing really too much all the different spaghetti modules and everything else the different instruments that ash uses to operate on kane let's say to see about possibly getting the face hugger off of him looking prodding doing all his evil robot things yeah all of those tiny little instruments are there likewise with some extra hands instrument holding hands hey even milk holding hands a cup of milk right there that's one of the best accessories there or whatever he's drinking we really don't know but yeah that is just a very nice touch and that's what NECA does best very cool to see and then not only that he comes with the rolled up newspaper that he tries to kill Ripley with, you know, that's that's the number one murder weapon, trying to shove a magazine down someone's mouth. But again, it's disturbing. It's weird. I think the likeness is definitely there for the actor, all the pouches, his suit, his shoes. The one thing I'm going to tell you right off the bat for all these new figures, right, for wave three and likewise wave ones and twos, they are very very stuck in the joints so if you have to heat them up definitely do so you don't want anything to break i didn't have anything happen like that you gotta go easy these are action figures but they are very much the displayable art piece for me at least that's what i'm doing in my alien collection next up is kane john hurt himself poor guy just looks into an alien egg yeah he kicks off the entire alien franchise we have no one but kane to thank but much like dallas's spacesuits yes we get kane in his 
really interesting yellow spacesuit, whereas Dallas is more of the pink, brown, this one is more the yellow, and you really start to see the rust, the corrosion on the metal plates, different parts of the spacesuit, and he himself does come with a bevy of extra parts, pieces, accessories, as well, all of which really elevate this to be a very cool Kane figure. You really can't go wrong and really don't really need another Kane figure after this, unless they want to do it, you know, with the chest burst and stuff. You get face hugged Kane, right? The great likeness right there. <laughs> I'm sure it's underneath, right? But just to have that, the, the tail twisting around his neck, that is very cool to have. And then you even have the melted spacesuit, right? His glass dome all melted in from when the face hugger jumps from the egg. That scene right there, the noise that thing makes is terrifying. And then you have just the standard. So you can go face hug cane or standard cane right before the whole incident, you know what I mean? And just the colors, the copper brown tones mixed with that green corrosive paint very cool, very lived in, very much the alien world of gross, right? And then he has an accessory we have seen before, those monitors, the bleeps and the boops and all that kind of stuff, machines, and then a little space gun as well. Nice weathering, nice paint, fits into the little side pocket as Dallas's does. The easiest thing though is really swapping the heads with that, and I'll show you in just a second, but the details on Kane are just extra good. Vibrant. Love the colors of this spacesuit. Everyone's got a different colored space jumpsuit. And just how wackadoo is the space jumpsuits? The designs of them and NECA, of course, translating them into action figure form. Kane right there. Every one of these characters had a different little name tag right there, so it's nice to keep that. Swapping out the heads is really easily done. And again, it's... <laughs> To have that on your face, hey, why not, right? You can even put the helmet on, whether you want to do it with the head on or off, it doesn't really matter. You get all these wires and tubes. You can have it to wear the melted part of the spacesuit, you know, hook all the wires in and everything else. And it looks good, very naturalistic. It just, poor Kane. <laughs> That's all I gotta say, very cool figure. And then of course, like all the other waves, wave wouldn't be complete without the alien. This is the alien, not the bloody, not the prototype alien. It's it's the original right here. This guy is very cool, very much in that ultimate articulation style, nice paint overall. It's very simple, but at the same time, terrifying, monstrous. An alien we have seen multiple times, so not necessarily one I would say you absolutely have to have if you have multiple aliens, but if you're collecting the 40th anniversary line, yeah, I would say definitely grab it. It'll go more for your collection. You got the mini mouth, you got the articulation, you got the paint, the spikes, the tail, the bendy wire tail, the see-through dome of the big chap. Oh man, this is a great alien to have if you don't have one already. And shortly after this video, depending on when you see it, Wave 4 will be coming out in around May 2021, and we will see Sigourney Weaver, Ellen Ripley, in her white spacesuit from towards the end of the movie. We will also see Lambert again in her spacesuit, more of like a blue tone. And then if we're getting another alien, of course, this one based off of H.R. Giger's paintings, which... I like the bloodied one. I actually really like that. I think that that's, that's a cool way. You know, I would never not mind seeing maybe some HR Giger. They have done a few. NECA has done some in the past. Have these as action figures? Yeah, I'm just saying. I would not mind that at all. If I'm being completely honest, while I do like the added articulation, one of the most interesting alien one of the first aliens i think that eneka ever did he's still my favorite less articulation but just the look of it i think 
I still like the original one better. And if you've seen previous videos where I talk about Alien or I compare and everything else, basically, you know, if you want articulation or not, but the original Big Chat that I got, the NECA made, poof, that is a hard one to beat. And when you have all three different Alien figures lined up together, you start to think, okay, well, I mean, there was only one in the entire movie, but with each wave having its own designated alien, you're going to have to have repaints. And some of these lines are previously released figures, repaints here and there, but to have it within the whole 40th anniversary line, and if you, especially if you haven't picked these up before, yeah, they're definitely all must-haves. Great likeness, great accessories, great everything. The aliens, I'll leave it to you on which ones you want. Definitely go for the bloodied one, just saying. And again, in talking about repaints, reuse, everything else, you can kind of see where they've reused parts, pieces, much like any company does, but it fits within the world of Alien. In that sense, I do not mind it. I mean, the colors enough, the head sculpts, everything else differentiates it so well. So again, happy LV426 Alien Day to all you Alien fanatics out there. And that's really going to wrap up my look back at the first three waves of the new NECA 40th anniversary line. And special shout out and a thank you to NECA Toys. They actually sent me the Alien from Wave 3. The other two I found at my local Walmart. But uh, thank you for sending that out to create this video and really do it right. I'm really looking forward to wave four. And again, there's not a whole lot of looks and such left. I wouldn't mind a whole crew in more of, you know, get them out of the spacesuits. I think that that would be cool eventually if they could do that. But the alien, for the most part, we're just missing Lambert. And Lambert has been released prior, but not under the 40th line. From androids or robotic duplicants and chestbursters and face huggers, alien eggs, xenomorphs, everything. This line encompasses all the good stuff that you love about the alien franchise. It's a home runs pickup. If you're a big fan of the alien movie, yeah, definitely get these. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything alien. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, let's get some more alien movies going. That's, that's all I'm going to say. I want some twisted, weird HR Giger stuff. And I want NECA toys to make it. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.